I've got to admit, I'm a bit of a development kit fanatic. I've got dev kits for microcontrollers, of course, for FPGAs, for all kinds of LED blinking things. <laughs> I've also got dev kits for wearable devices, cameras, motor control, even drones. But now I hear Samtech has development kits. Uh, huh? Samtech makes connectors, right? So what exactly does a connector dev kit do? Plug? Unplug? Done. Uh... Maybe I'm missing something here? Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk, and there are actually some really cool reasons to get development kits from Samtech. But instead of hearing it from me, let's bring in Matthew Burns from Samtech to talk about all of this and more. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out more information about characterization and development boards from Samtech. Hi, Matthew. Thank you so much for joining me. Good morning, Amelia. It's good to be with you again. Okay, so data rates are getting faster, and we're moving to 56 gigabits per second. But how do you design something for 56 gigabits per second? That's a really good question, Amelia. As we move into early 2018, we see a lot of semiconductor vendors that are coming out with 56 gigabit per second silicon. One of the things that their customers continually demand is the need for providing evaluation kits, development kits, or characterization boards to enable the electronic OEM engineers a platform by which to test, develop, and characterize the high-speed silicon. A good example of a typical platform provided by a semiconductor vendor is the VC118 evaluation kit from Xilinx. This provides an ideal platform for evaluating the cutting-edge Vertex Ultrascale FPGAs. It also provides a hardware and software reference design for the entire support circuitry that's needed to support the FPGA. That includes power, input-output, memory, interface, software tools to configure the FPGAs, etc. One of the challenges or one of the requests that Samtech continues to get is that as our interconnect solutions get faster, customers are asking for more and more design and support. And in response to those requests, what Samtech is focusing on as we've progressed from 2017 going into 2018 is providing a growing suite of Samtech designed characterization and development kits that simplify interconnect design and reduce time to market. Okay, so in a previous Chalk Talk, we've spoken about how signal integrity is important. So how is Samtech expanding on that? We mentioned earlier that one of the trends for 2018 is the march towards 56 gigabit per second and even beyond that. Again, we're getting increased requests from our customer base for additional tools to test our interconnect solutions at those higher data rates. So one of the things that we're really working on is expanding our portfolio and, and bringing to the market signal integrity characterization kits that provide both a test platform for measured data and enable customers to correlate that with the interconnect models that we provide so that they can simulate them through their tools. A good example of that is our FQSFP SI characterization kit. This is a test platform for characterizing our FQSFP series twin axe cable assemblies. Again, one of the key focuses for us in developing these SI characterization kit is to enable our customers a platform to correlate data between what's simulated in their 3D simulation tools, as well as correlating the data to what they measure, whether it's in the frequency domain or in the time domain. More specific to this platform, you can see that it's modular in nature. So while this shows FQSFP with what we call our DC8 series on N2. We can switch those N2 options and provide a very versatile platform for characterizing our twin X cable assemblies. So you'll see more solutions similar to this coming out from Samtech as we progress through 2018. This seems like a great platform for twin X cable assemblies. Are there other platforms you're releasing? Yeah, one of the solutions that we'll be releasing as we progress later into 2018 is our XMAX SI characterization kit. Again, this is an SI test platform for characterizing Samtech's uh, growing XMAX backplane connector system. Like the FQSF PSI characterization kit that we talked about on the previous slide, this enables our end users, or our customers, to correlate data between what's simulated in their system as well as what they measure, whether in the frequency domain or in the time domain. The XMAX SI characterization kit provides an easy to use platform for emulating 56 gigabit backplane systems. What do I mean by that? Well, the first part is, is that we have the backplane board itself with the XMAX connectors on it, but we've also produced test cards which simulate line cards within a typical chassis system. So it's very easy for FPGA suppliers, CDR and timer suppliers, or network ASIC suppliers to simulate their ICs in a backplane system by connecting their 
chip evaluation boards with our SI characterization kit using high-performance RF cables. So we have a lot of customers that have requested this. We see a lot of interest in the industry, and we're confident that this solution will answer the needs that we see. Okay, so also in the past with Samtech, we've talked about active solutions. Do you have anything coming up for FPGA? We do. Our products are highly complementary of FPGA-based systems. You know from past conversations, Amelia, that Samtech is very active in the Vita specification, specifically Vita 57, which defines the FMC spec. We have numerous solutions there as well. Another area that we're also expanding that combines FPGAs and FMC is around optics, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. One of the solutions that we've had on the market for some time, which really has helped us to see the need for us to expand our active board portfolio is our Firefly test kit. Firefly is a micro optical engine which serves as the basis for Samtech's active optical cables. Our Firefly test kit enables customers to test active optical or copper cable assemblies using the Firefly Interconnect system. This system offers real-time evaluation of optical or copper Firefly system. It's rated for data rates of up to 25 gigabits per second. IO expansion is enabled through the Samtech Bullseye system, which allows connection to test equipment such as VNAs or oscilloscopes. We also provide access to the Firefly via USB tie squared c adapter, which is included in the kit. A good example of another solution that we offer that combines optics with FMC is our 14 gigabit per second Firefly FMC development kit. This comes in a standard Vita 57.1 FMC form factor. It features the Samtech HPC Vita 57.1 FMC connector. You can see from the illustration that there are two Firefly two-piece SMT connector systems on the system. The system uses Samtech's Firefly active optical cable which operates at 850 nanometers in the optical domain. One of the nice features of not only this kit, but all the kits that we're featuring in this Chalk Talk is that the layout has been optimized using Samtech's final inch breakout region or BOR PCB trace routing, not only for the Firefly connectors, but also for the FMC connectors. So that optimizes the SI performance of the board. This particular kit supports up to 10 high speed multi-gigabit transceivers operating at 14 gigabit per second, both transmit and receive. The board also features an industry standard 24 fiber MTP MPO connector for connecting to the outside world. In addition to our 14 gigabit Firefly FMC, we are also working on a 28 gigabit Firefly FMC Plus development kit, which we should be releasing probably around mid-second quarter of 2018. How does this differentiate from the 14G FMC solution? Well, this is a Vita 57.4 form factor, which takes advantage of the latest Vita 57 spec. It features the Samtech HSPC Vita 57.4 FMC Plus connector. It also features up to four two-piece SMT connector systems for Firefly. Obviously, that's an increase from two over the previous design. It uses our Samtech Firefly AOC. In this case, instead of using the 14 gigabit 12 channel option, it's actually using the 28 gigabit four channel bi-directional Firefly AOC that we have. As with the previous solution, the signal routing, the breakout region on the connectors have been optimized by Samtech's SI team. This board can support up to 16 high-speed multi-gigabit transceivers operating at up to 28 gigabit per second each. While the illustration shows a MTP MPO optical connector, we will have various optical connector options on this kit as well. And as I mentioned, we should have prototypes by the end of the first quarter of 18, production slated for the second quarter of 18 as well. Obviously, you have a growing optical FMC, FMC Plus portfolio, but are there other solutions Samtech has in this space? We do, Amelia. In addition to our optical FMCs, we also have uh, more traditional FMC Plus modules that we've developed in support of Vita 57.4, which we've talked with you about in the past. A good example of that is our FMC Plus HSPC loopback card. This comes in a Vita 57.4 form factor. It has the Vita 57.4 HSPC connector on it. Again, the, the routing has been optimized for the BORs for the connectors. The advantage of this card is that it provides a, a loopback for up to 24 high-speed multi-gigabit transceivers, both transmit and receive, running at up to 28 gigabits per second per channel and beyond. So for customers who are developing their own FPGA carrier cards, this is a great tool that they can use to test the FMC Plus connector on it to make sure that the routing on their board works the way that they want it to. An extension of this is the FMC Plus HSPC HSPC E loopback card. Similar to the previous version, this is also a Vita 57.4 form factor. 
It includes both the HSPC and the HSPCE connector as defined by the Vita 57.4 uh, specification. You can see the additional 4x20 HSPCE connector on the far edge of the card. The additional connector supports an additional eight transceivers. So this card supports up to 32 high-speed multi-gigabit transceivers, both transmit and receive, operating up to 28 gigabit per second per channel. Again, this is targeted at FPGA carrier card developers who are, are looking to test the FMC Plus platform, both for HSPC and HSPCE. So Matthew, are there other industry trends that you've been seeing that are driving Samtech's characterization and development kit creation? That's a great question. One of the trends that we're seeing is the growth in PCI Express. You may think, well, of course, PCI Gen 4 is coming out, PCI Gen 5 is being talked about, the data rates continue to grow. That is true. But what I mean by that is, is that PCI Express as a interface has evolved from its original intentions. Originally, it was designed, you know, when Intel came out with the PCI Express standard, it was designed as a chip-to-chip -chip interface between their MCUs and their chipsets. However, it has evolved to, to go off board. So we're seeing numerous customers that want to route PCI Express, not only chip-to-chip, -chip, but also board-to-board -board and also system-to-system. -system. So when we get into PCI Gen 4 solutions running at 16 gigabit per second, or PCI Gen 5 is targeted for 32 gigabits per second, those trace routes or the cable lengths are pretty short. So the only way to get longer lengths system to system, talking in tens of meters or hundreds of meters, is to get into the optical domain. With that being said, Samtech has developed a portfolio of PCI Express extender cards. A good example of a PCI extender is Samtech's PCIe Active Optical Cable Assembly Adapter Card. This is a low-profile PCIe I.O. adapter card. It supports both Gen 1 and Gen 2. This PCIe extender card can be used with our PCIe EO series AOCs or with traditional copper cables. The extender card enables spread spectrum clocking support as well as offering support for auxiliary sideband signals as well. Now, you may ask, okay, that supports PCIe Gen 1 and PCIe Gen 2. What about faster speeds, PCIe Gen 3 and Gen 4? Well, a new solution that we've actually demonstrated at several trade shows so far is our PCIe over fiber adapter card, or PCOA. This is a PCI Express by 16 edge card connector card, which you see in the illustration. It supports Gen 3, and we are currently working on Gen 4, which will come out later in 2018. This offers scalable configuration support on a cost-optimized platform. What do I mean by that? Well, the 16 channels can be configured in, in multiple ways. We can support by four in single, dual, or quad implementation. We can support by eight in a single or dual implementation, or we can support a single 16-channel implementation. The board also comes with our PCUO series of Firefly targeted specifically at PCI Express solutions. This enables computer-to-endpoint communications over long distances. We can also support computer-to-computer -computer communication with support via our development partner on this project, Dolphin Interconnect Systems. And as I mentioned, we have actually demonstrated this system at several industry-leading trade shows, including supercomputing, PCI SIG, and the IEEE CPMT Symposium. Okay, Matthew, can you give me a quick summary of your main points? Amelia, we hope that your listeners take away that Samtech is really putting a lot of effort into designing and developing our own characterization and development kits to simplify design in of our high-performance interconnect solutions and reduce or shorten time to market. As we've covered in this presentation, Samtech's characterization development kits include three main solutions, signal integrity characterization kits. Secondly, we have numerous FPGA and optics-based development kits and we have a series of PCI Express extender cards. For more information, we encourage your listeners to email our technical experts at kitsandboards at samtech.com or visit our website at www.samtech.com slash kits for more information. This was awesome. Thank you so much for joining me, Matthew. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks, Amelia. We appreciate the time. You didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find out more information about characterization and development boards from Samtech. For Chalk Talk, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal or check out YouTube, keyword EE Journal.